Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I am at the end of Zora's River, just before Zora's Domain, because it is probably the easiest way to show you where the Skulltulas are. There's two that you can find in this area. One is all the way up here. Long shot required, that's why I didn't bother getting any Skulltulas in here the first time I came through this place. And there's your first one. Now the second one, all you have to do is just continue down the path. And you'll see that thin strip of land that we flew to with a Kuko for, with, as a kid. <laughs> ah, good times with Kuko flying. Anyway, just climb right up on here. And then go up the ladder. Yeah, there we go. Yay! And what is that rock over there? I'm, I'm curious to see... Aha! A hole! Let's see what's in this hole. Oh, a fairy fountain! I can recover my one and a half lost hearts of health. <laughs> uh, I guess there's nothing really special there, but it's there if you need it, I suppose. Now, there, there's another hole over here. Let's see what's down here. And as you see, there's the Skulltula right up there. There's some butterflies. A chest, a gossip stone, some hives. Mmm, red rupee. My wallet's full, dang it! Ah, well, I guess. Wait, wait, what's in. Oh, it's fish. I thought that, that was like some bugs in the water or something like that. I was gonna say, that's pretty silly. Because you know how the bugs are blue in color, and yeah. Now, for this Skulltula. There's token. Yay! And Zora's River is now 100%ed. By the way, you can check all the areas in the game here where the Skulltulas, like, to see if you missed any, basically. And, uh, oh, strangely, Zora's River is not on the map. Why is it not on the map? <laughs> I'm sure I got all the Skulltulas from here anyway. Well, that was completely useless to show at this point, then. Oh, well. I guess only some of the areas show, and not the quote-unquote route to the next areas. Now we're going to go over to Kakariko Village. There's definitely something there for us now. Something a teeny tiny bit unnerving, but also epic. <laughs> this only happens uh, once you complete the first three dungeons in the game. And I believe at this point, uh, Gerudo, <coughs> Gerudo, Gerudo Valley, not Dorito Valley or something, is open up to, uh, so that you can go over to the Spirit Temple if you'd like, but I recommend going this way first. Holy Toledo! It's a disaster around here! The whole village is on fire! Well, half the buildings. And there's Chick, the Chick. Might be Chic too, I'm not sure, honestly. <laughs> Get back, Link. Oh! What in the holy name of Arceus? Oh boy. That does not look good in the slightest. Yeah, that did that didn't go too well for Link, I don't think. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Looks like you're coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa. The leader of Kokariko Village has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. People really shouldn't drink out of that well. I mean, there's dead bodies and 
rusty chains and dead. Oh, never mind. I, I I don't even want to think about what these people have. They probably have diarrhea, explosive diarrhea, like you've never seen before. So, a new song? Yes, indeedly do. The Nocturne of Shadow. This game has got an awesome soundtrack. You guys know I love video game music. This game is no exception. Woohoo! Okie dokie. How does she keep doing that? <laughs> Anyway, now you'll notice that it's no no longer, for whatever reason, on fire. I never understood that. I mean, that is the quickest dousing flames in the world, or this is some really heavy pouring rain. Oh, and I'd like to show you something here. I remember uh, that I wanted to show off being able to attack these guys. Um, I might not be able to do it now, because I thought it would because he follows you around, but basically if you want these uh, Skulltula family members to attack you, you have to attack them from the back. And yeah, I don't think that's possible to do. No, not, for, not like that, but uh, I guess I won't be able to show it. Unless I do like another save file or something like that a little bit later. Anyway, play the Nocturne of Shadow, and you'll be warped over to the Shadow Temple. I already forgot the song. <laughs> Left, right, right, A, left, right, down. Okay. Yay! I have terrible memory. <laughs> yes, I will warp to the graveyard. Yes, you heard me right, the graveyard. There's still more there. And this is the only way to get to the Shadow Temple, actually, is, is from the graveyard. And there's a gossip stone here for whatever reason if you'd like to speak with that as a kid with the mask on. But anyway, let's go inside. You'll notice that there is a load of torches around here. I think you know what you have to do at this point in the game whenever you see a bunch of circled torches. I mean, come on, I shouldn't have to tell you this by now. We've used Din's Fire many times in Master Quest. And there we go. The entrance to the Shadow Temple is open. There's absolutely nothing in here that I know of. <laughs> here we go. Our first obstacle is a hookshot target. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad whatsoever. But you'll notice this. The shadow will yield only to one with the Eye of Truth handed down in Kakariko Village. This is hinting that you need the Eye of Truth to get through this temple, basically, because otherwise there's hidden walls like you see here. Um, so I might as well get the Eye of Truth set up here, and maybe I should have gotten more uh, magic power along the way, I'm not sure. Anyway, as you can see, some of these skull heads uh, I'm, oh, actually, one of these skull heads is, uh, make my beak face the skull of truth. Yeah, the skull of truth is the one that doesn't disappear when you have the, uh, eye of truth pointed at it. So move this over to, not this one, no, keep moving, Link, there you go, and, that should be it, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I guess there's just a delay to make sure that you don't keep pushing or something, like to make sure they know you have it. And I can't get across here just yet until I get the hover... Wait, 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 actually... 
Maybe I can. Interesting, because there's torches up there. Let's just look around here. Oh, bubble wall! <laughs> yeah. Uh, normally, you would only be able to get across that gap there with the hover boots, but I'm sort of questioning that now. Uh, I need a key. <laughs> yeah, you can't use that spare key that you got from the water temple back over here in the uh, shadow temple. You, the keys only work in the dungeon that you got them in, and it appears that I'm gonna have to use my uh, fire arrows to get across there. Or at least that seems to be the only solution to it. Unless those other places have... Like, something that I'm not seeing? I don't know. Why did I grab... <laughs> that was horrendous. And I ended up at the beginning. Oh, come on, man. That was, like, the worst thing I have ever done since ever. And I didn't even notice I didn't have my bow out either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least this is still open here. Wowie zowie. I should, I should still, I mean, I'm still, excuse me, getting used to using the button controls. That would not have happened if I used the C-stick. I mean, that would not have happened if I used the buttons, but I used the C-stick, excuse me. Yep, that's what I thought. So now I can just jump across here. And I'm a little bit frightened to see... No, there isn't anything coming up, okay. You never know in this dungeon, there's always invisible surprises waiting around every corner. And BMO Sky is waiting to annoy you around every corner. No! I would like to destroy you. Nope. Eee. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, what do we have? Are these all bombable? Yep. So let's do one of these. Let's do these one at a time here. Ow. I'm not going to bomb the other two just yet because of the fact that... Uh, I guess I'm going to have to. Um, I'm using the C-Stick again, dang it. I'm getting my sides confused, which is terrible. Oh. I should just use the Eye of Truth there, but okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is this? Oh, it's a Gibdo room. No! Must. Get. Ocarina. <laughs> Must. Play. Sun Song. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, these guys are going to annoy me. There we go. There we go. Very well done. This one should still be stunned. Eh, 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 eh. What is my prize? Little treasure chest. So it's most likely a key. I think I'm actually going to use this key to go back... I mean, and go back in that other room... Uh, way back at the lobby, main area, whatever you want to call it. Because, um... Otherwise, I'll have to backtrack through that area, I mean, to that area later, excuse me, and I really don't want to do that. Especially when I'm going to get into the dungeon, I'm going to have to end up backtracking through here later anyway, and yeah. You get the idea. There's some crates there for whatever reason. I bet you they're going to be used in this room. So keep those in mind. Uh, I'm sure this is fake. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no! No! Evil pots! No! No! <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Are you going to keep telling me that until I use the Eye of Truth? Basically, these... Oh, actually, I thought the, the rooms that you could go through had the... Um, Shadow Temple here has gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Hmm. Because I, I, I thought the ones that you could enter were, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were the ones with the eyes that are glowing? Well, okay, I got two paths here. Uh, I think I got two paths. I'm gonna go down this way first. I don't feel like playing the Song of Time. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end up playing the Sun Song anyway. Curses! Curse you and your treachery! No, Navi! I know what a barred door looks like! <laughs> why? Why does she keep torturing me like this? See, this is why the undead are in this place. They can't rest until Navi is gone! That's... it's all Navi's fault! <laughs> what do I get in here? 
probably a dungeon map, I hope! Hopefully this won't be a, um, water temple-like experience with the dungeon map. But this place isn't as, uh, complex as the water temple was. So, a map is... Uh, I guess I could live with a compass, but I was gonna say a map is good, but a compass would still be good because I can... I would be able to tell where items are anyway with the compass on a certain level. See, with the water temple, the issue was that since rooms are interconnected vertically between multiple floors, a map doesn't really help you all that much with that. So, well, I mean, it does help a little bit, but it's still not all that... No, st stop it, voices in my head! <laughs> There's an eye for whatever reason. Ow! Wait, why is that one closed of all things? Do I have to be like a certain length away for it to open for me to be able to shoot it? Perhaps? Let me search around here. Okay. These blocks or glass. Ow! Where'd that come from? Glass blocks. Seriously, where'd that fire come from? I. No! <laughs> Okay, so I got the eyes. That likely means I need a bow. So... Okay. Are you gonna open up or are you gonna stay... Where? Where? <laughs> Am I missing something in this room that I'm not seeing? Or are those eyes shooting fire that go through the walls or something like that? Ah, they are shooting fire, okay. Yes, indeedly do. Uh, what do I do about that then? <laughs> Am I like able to defend myself against the eye onslaught? Mm. When are you guys open, please? <laughs> Unless I'm missing something here. And they only do it when you're like back is turned or something like that. Back is turned does sound Ah, it homes in on you, what? It opening up when your back is turned does sound like something that would be probable. So let's look at it. turn away. Eh. Hmm? Eh? Please. Um I don't get it. <laughs> I seriously don't get this one. I don't remember these eyes in the original, I should say. Well, then again, you know me. My memory. Horrendous. <laughs> hmm. What if I were to shield some of the flame? You know what? I'll figure it out in the next part. This part's gotten kind of lengthy. lengthy. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I can hopefully figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do here.